Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 136. 136, and we are on page number 86. Page number 86. Let's take a look at it. See what it says. By the way, the fifth edition of the of the of the of the of the book is what I'm holding in my hand here. We have already solved every single problem that appears in this fifth edition. In the event that you want to have more practice, it does not have to practice. It does not hurt to practice a little bit more. You will find a solution to every single math problem that appeared in the fifth edition, from day number one to eighty. And sixth edition begins with day one hundred one. There are no videos from eighty one to one hundred. In the sixth, uh, in the on day number one thirty six on today's video, we will solve. Problem number three that you see there on that page. We are given a chart and the heading of the chart is tips earned by Alex and Zane during the week. You understand? I could have, I could have very easily, have, I could have very easily had done this chart ahead of time on the blackboard, but it's better that we put the chart together. We learned that way together. Let's put together the chart just as it appears in the book. So there are two axes. On the x-axis, we are given the days of the week. That's what it says during the week. So these are the days of the week. We're going to have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Thursday, by the way, is represented by letter R. That is the, the standard symbol for letter for, for Thursday. R for Thursday. Don't get confused. In most course catalog on in colleges, if you look up the course catalog, the course offering, they would use letter R to represent Thursday. So here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's get going. We have we have the key here. The key tells us that a dot is supposed to represent Alex, and cross is supposed to represent Zane. And that is our key. And the first one shows us as it goes up to 40. So here we go: 10, 20, 30 and 40. These are the tips measured in dollar amount obviously. The first one appears at 30. At 30 for Monday it appears as a cross and then we have a dot at 10. What does it tell us? It tells us that on Monday that represents Alex. Alex has ten dollars in tips, and the cross appears at thirty. This is ten, twenty, thirty. Zoe had thirty dollars in tips. Let's put it together. Let's put it in the form of a chart. What we just said. This thing has been sitting here for so long that I can't erase it. So there we go. There we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Here we have Alex. And here we have Zane. And we just established that this dot represents Alex. He must have had ten dollars in tips on Monday. Cross represents Zane. She must have had thirty dollars. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if Zane is a she or a he. Whatever the case might be, it is irrelevant. Let's go to the next one. Next one we have a marker at again at 30. We have a we have a on Tuesday. Again we are at 30, but we have a dot as well as a cross. As well as a cross. So what I'm gonna do now is to represent the dot with a different color so we can see it. 
a dot a dot as well as a cross. What does it tell us? That tells us that they most they must have both earned the same amount of money on Tuesday. How much how much amount did they earn? All right here. Thirty dollars. They both had the thirty dollars in tips. So far so good. Next one next one we have is at a forty dollars way up here is forty dollars on Wednesday. And who has the forty dollars? Well I see I see a dot. I see a dot. And that's forty dollars. Who is that? That is Alex. Alex must have had a forty dollars in tips on Wednesday. And then I see that same label, thirty dollars, right here. At thirty dollars, right here. Same levels, which means, oh, this person had thirty dollars for three uh, three days in a row. Interesting. Let's carry on then. The next one I see is a a cross at a twenty uh, cross at a ten. Right here is a ten on Thursday. I see a cross here. At a ten, cross is Zane. Zane had ten dollars, and I see a dot at twenty dollars. A dot is a twenty dollars. Do you see what I'm reading? You have to read the chart together with me. If you don't have the book in front of you, you will never follow the work. Which is why it's important to own the book. There is no such thing as preparation for teas without that study manual. Do you understand? And no, they do not pay me to plug the book. It is just a fact. You cannot prepare for the exam unless you have the book in front of you. So, $20, which is Alex on Thursday. We are done with that thing. Friday, I see $35. Where, where is 30? Why do I see $35? Because it is between 30. It's between 30 and. Or am I reading it correctly? Am I reading it wrong? Oh, it's between 40 and 50. 40 and 50. Yes, it is between 40 and 50. My chart that I was holding here is wrong. It's, it's between 40 and 50. I left no room here for 50. Lost it. So we're going to have to extend this thing out a little bit. And our graph is going to go, go a little bit higher. Way up here is 50. So 45 is going to be right here. And this is Friday. Way up there. And who has, who has, Alex does, Alex is the dot, so we need, we need the red marker, right here, and that's 45, if you, if you look at the chart carefully, it's 45, and how much does, uh, does Zane have, looks like about $10, not about $10, it is $10. Zane is this guy. So he's going to continue here, right here. And now we have our chart. This is how we build the chart. We study the graph and make the chart. Let's see what the question is asking. Let's see what the question is, what we are being asked here. It says, use the graph to fill in the two tables and answer the questions below. Well, we already filled in the tables. Right here are the tables, except we have put them together. We have put both of these people, Alex and Zen, together, so that part is done. We simply have to answer the three questions that follow. And again, we need, we need room for those three questions. You're going to have to raise something. Let's put it right here. The first question says, on what night did Alex get less tip than the night before? On what night did Alex get Less tip, less tip than the night before. Clearly, clearly the answer can never be Monday because there is nothing before Monday. So the story is going to begin with Tuesday. But well, let's take a look at Tuesday. How much? Uh, how much did he get on Tuesday? He got thirty dollars. On Tuesday he got thirty dollars. The previous day he had ten dollars. He actually had more tips on Tuesday than he did the night before. So Tuesday is not the answer. Wednesday is not the answer. On Wednesday he had forty dollars. The previous night he had thirty dollars. So on Wednesday actually he had more tips than the night before. It says on what night did the Alex get less tip? Well, he got less tip on Thursday 
than he did the night before. On Thursday, he had only had $20. The previous night, he had $40. The answer is Thursday. The answer is Thursday. R, R for Thursday. Let's, let's answer the second question. On Thursday, he had less debt than the night before. On what night, it says, on what night did the board have the same amount? Same amount. Oh, that's very easy. On both night they go right here, where they both cross. They put together on Tuesday. Right here, they had thirty dollars. They both had thirty dollars on Tuesday. The answer is Tuesday. On Tuesday night, they both had the same amount of tips. Let's look at the third one. It says, "What is the average rate of change?" Let's do. What is the average rate of change for Zane from Monday to Friday? What does it mean, average rate of change? That's the tricky part. We're going to have to spend a little bit of time on this question. But before we do that, Let's put it put together these calves together in a form of a we're talking about it says on what night what is the average rate of change for Zane from Monday through Friday? Before we worry about how to find the average rate of change, keep in mind that we're dealing with Zane. So we're gonna connect all the dots dealing with Zane. We have $30 for the first night, right here, Zane. Then we have thirty dollars. Then we have thirty dollars. So that's the three. Three. Our line looks like this. Then it falls. Then it falls, and then it goes there. Let's call the starting point Monday. Let's call it point A. Keep it. Okay. Keep. Stay with me. Or if you like, let's not make it simple. Let's call it. Let's call this point M. M because it's Monday. Let's call this point F. Don't get confused. These are the names that I'm giving to the points, and these are the days. If you want to keep the two separate, if you want to keep the two concepts separate, let's call this point A and let's call this point B. And what we're looking for is the average rate of change from point A to point B or from Monday to Friday. From this point to this point was the average rate of change. Average rate of change is same as saying what is the slope of the line. What is the slope of the line that you will get if you were to draw a line from point A to point B, watch here, watch very carefully. I need entirely different color here. Okay, watch very. If we were to draw a line that collects that connects point A to point B, this line right here, this green line here, if you were to connect a line, a straight line from point A to point B, what is the rate of change from M Monday through Friday, which is same as saying what is the what is the slope of the line? Question here is what is the slope of the line AB? That's the question here. That line AB that we just drew here, the question is, what is the slope of that line? Rate of change means the slope. How fast is it changing? What's the rate of change? What's the slope of this line? How steep is it? How steep is it? That's what we're looking for. Let's do the work here. We need the room, obviously. We have to raise something. I'm going to raise this chart. How do we find slope? Well, how do we find slope? That's right. Very simple. How do we find slope? Slope is simply the change in y over the change in x. Change in y value, change in x value. Listen very carefully and pay attention, okay? x here, x value here, are not numerical. These are days. So how am I going to represent the days with numerical values? It's very simple. You just call them, you just call them first day, second day, third day, fourth day, and fifth day. There are five days. So the change in X going from Monday through Friday, going through Monday through Friday, the change in X is just, now, when you're doing the slope, listen very carefully, doing the, when you're doing the slow slope, you have to be consistent. Either we go from A to B, or from B to A. We cannot mix it up. If you're going to go from A to B, the change is from one 
to 5. 1 through 5. The change here is we're going starting at 1 and we're ending at 5. That's the change. It's the change in y. Well, the y value here is 30. 30. And x value here is 10. Watch what happens. Okay, listen very carefully. So 30 minus 10 is 20. That's 20. And 1 minus 4, 5 is negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5, so it's going to be negative 5. The rate of change is negative 5. Negative 5. The question is, negative 5, negative 5 what? Well, this, this change that we see there on y-axis, what do we have y? On y-axis we have, we have dollars, and here we have days. So it says negative 5 dollars per day. Per day. The question is, what does this figure tell us intuitively? What's the interpretation of it? Say, simply saying that the slope of the line joining point A, point A to point B, A being Monday and B being Friday, and simply saying that the slope of the line joining the slope of the line joining the point A B is negative five. It's not enough. We have to understand what that means. What does it mean? Or what it means is this. Okay, listen carefully. What this means is this. This is how will be the interpretation. If somebody asks you to interpret the slope, the interpretation would be the negative five tells us that for for each day, for each day after Monday, whoever this person was, I forget now, Zane I believe, for each day after Monday, Zane, Zane received five dollar less in tip and tip. For each day after Monday, Zane received five dollars less in tip. Why less? The less part here is this negative. In other words, if you tell me how Zane, how much tips Zane received on Monday, I can predict, I cannot tell you precisely, this is on average, this is on average, this is very important that you qualify this thing, on average, I forgot to say this thing, this is the most, most important part. On average, this is important, this is the most important, on average, which is what this which is why we talk about the average rate of change. On average, on average, Zane received five dollars less per day in tip than what he did the day before, starting from Monday. In other words, if you tell me how much he had in tips on Monday, I can tell you how much tip he received on Friday. Because I know as you just told me that each day his tips number amount of tip went down by five dollars. Well, if it went down by five dollars each day after Monday, then if you tell me how much he received on Monday, I should be able to tell you how much he received on Friday. I'll show it to you. How much did he receive? How much did she receive? I don't know if Zane is he or she. So, how much did Zane receive on, on Monday? Well, Monday, Zane received thirty dollars. There we go. This is Zane. And you're telling me that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're telling me that Zane received thirty dollars on tip on Monday. Now the figures, the other figures that we're going to put here are not the actual figures. We have no way of knowing how much he received on Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. We have no way of knowing that. But on average it was five dollar less than the night before. Well, in that case, it's on average it must be twenty-five, it must be twenty, it must be fifteen, and then this part I know for a fact. This part I know for a fact. On the on, on Friday, if Zane started with $30. On Friday, he must have had only $10 in tips because his rate of tip went down by $5 every night. Is that what we see in the chart? Let's take a look. Zane. Oh my God, it is $10 on Friday. It's spooking me out. It's freaking me out. I don't know what to do. I'm all spooked out. You see? Other way we could have done slope. Okay, we're going to finish this thing up. Other way here, this slope here is going from. It was going from A to B. This was the slope from A to B. We could have also done the slope. We could have also done the slope going from B to A. In other words, 
to start. In other words, using the Friday, so it would have been Friday here is $10, on Monday here $30, we switch the thing, the change in Y, we go from B to A, treat B as our starting point and A as our ending point, instead of using A as the starting point and B as the ending point. We're going to get the same answer. What I'm trying to make you understand is that we, we should get the same answer as long as you're consistent. You cannot switch from A to B on the top and B to A on the bottom. Of course you cannot do that. You have to be consistent. So it's 10 minus 30. If it's 10 minus 30, this should be 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1. 10 minus 30 is negative 20. And 5 minus 1 is 4. You see, it's the same value. The only difference it, it makes is that the negative sign ends up appearing on the top before it goes at the bottom. But the value is not going to change. Of course it's going to be negative 5. Negative 5. On average, this person made $5 less on a given night than the night before, starting from Monday. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.